Welcome to www.learnquickbooksfree.com. That's right. This is where you get to learn QuickBooks for free. Hello all and uh, happy Easter, happy Passover, happy everything. Um, so uh, we are here though, still working on the holidays. Yes, the demand never stops, yet supply is short. So I appreciate you guys hanging in there. We received a uh, question from A. Butler. And it says, hi, your lessons are great. Thank you, thank you. I am very thankful for your tutorials as they are making it possible for me to get on the right track. My new business. Well, thank you once again. I do property management among other real estate business and I need to set up tenants listed under multiple clients. One client has 97 tenants. How do I go about organizing these tenants and so on and so on. So let's go over to QuickBooks and I'm gonna show you uh, how to make this all happen and a lot of it is going to come down to customer jobs. Yes. So we're here in QuickBooks and I'm under customer center and let's pretend that this customer 3 over here is one of your customers. So the next step is to set up the customer job for the tenants. So go up to new customer and job add a job and we'll call this tenant one and of course you're going to fill the rest of the information which I'm not going to do so right now uh, hit OK and now you have what's called a customer job under a customer so you have one of course you do the same thing you highlight customer three and once highlighted go add another job tenant two so here we go tenant two uh, yes you're gonna have a good time adding 97 tenants <laughs> uh, but basically this is the idea and this is how you segregate them all under the roof of this one customer so that's the setup portion of it now I'm gonna show you a couple different ways on how you could use it So for example, when wanting to collect money from the tenant for rent, for example, uh, I'm in uh, accounts receivable creating an invoice. And the idea, of course, is to not just choose customer three, but to choose tenant one under customer three if that's um, something that you want to keep track of. So uh, for every tenant would have their own invoice, of course, and that way when you email the invoice, uh, it pertains to each single tenant okay as far as the rest of the invoice we do have other videos that show you how to do AR but the idea of this is that you want to make sure that you select tenant 1 tenant 2 and that way you could have proper detailed reporting so this is on the AR side let me show you how it's done on the AP side so here we are now entering a bill and the idea over here is under customer job same idea if a certain bill pertains to a certain tenant okay uh, then you would make sure that it goes under customer job tenant one or it goes under tenant two so once you fill everything out uh, this thing will also come up for billable okay and uh, you don't want to check that. You want to uncheck that. Okay. The only time you'll do billable is if your customer actually tells you that, hey, I bill all my tenants for these expenses. Usually that's not the case. But if that is the case, then you would do billable. That way you know uh, to bill the actual tenant too and not just the customer. Okay. So that's basically the idea on how to set it up and where to use it. And that concludes this lesson. Uh, you can visit our website at www.learnquickbooksfree.com to watch more videos.